Here's the deal. We spur each other on and we encourage each other. We need to do both. The word encourage in English means to put courage in. So when you're encouraging someone, you're not just stroking their orphan behavior, stroking their woundedness and all the rubbish that they're feeling about life. That's not what encouragement does. Encourage puts courage in. It lifts them out of where they're at, not just strokes them where they're at. Does that make sense? You don't don't just encourage someone by, oh, don't worry. What you're feeling is probably 100% accurate. No, 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 no. Encouragement says, you know them better than that. You know God better than that. You know that that's not his plan for you. You know that that's not who they are or who God is, and that's not who you are. So I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to put courage in you, courage to actually come above how you're feeling and see the truth. So we're going to spur each other on primarily, and then we're going to encourage each other. You do need both. If you're just provoked and irritated, that's not a godly culture. But we can encourage each other at the same time. Can you get that outside of this room? Yes, you can, but not in the same way. I love the culture that we're developing, and it's a culture that we learned from the guys at Bethel, where you walk into the room and 15 people prophesy over you. Seriously, when we went to Bethel, we, went to, um, we just ducked into the back of one of the worship schools, and we were in there for about four and a half minutes, and three people had prophesied over us. I'm like, this is awesome. I have no idea who you are, but that was awesome. It's a culture that's provoking. It's a culture that's building up. It's a culture that's irritating, but it's encouraging at the same time. You need both. You can't just have provoking without encouraging, but you also can't just have encouraging. If you just have there, there in your life, then you're going to believe stuff that is not true about yourself, about the world, and about God. You need people who are going to provoke you, not just say they're there. You do need a shoulder to cry on, but you also need those same arms to lift you up.